What is up, everybody? It is the Mastermind here, back at the end of another video. Hope you guys are doing fantastic. Um, today, I wanted to talk about uh, a recent topic in the, in the NASCAR community for the past few days now. I might be a little late on this, but I've been extremely busy, so bear with me. Um, so, Nashville Fairgrounds Speedway. Of course, you know, we... All, every NASCAR fan wants the the three net, uh, not even the Cup Series, probably the net, the three national touring series, um, back at you know the fairgrounds, and um, although there are plans, um, how there are plans going on, but however, the citizens in the area are not too you know happy about it. Um, I forget what it was, but there was a board meeting about a few nights ago where it took some people, like some individual groups who are against Speedway Incorporated, Spe uh, Speedway Incorporated, um, buying the track and possibly giving it a future Cup Series date. There were people for that and there were people against it, the people against it were mostly the people living near the area. Um, now, I want to talk about some major things, you know, the aspects of why people are actually against it. And I'll get into some of the stupid comments uh, later. Um, so the first, you know, main problem that they have with the race track is that it causes a lot of noise. First of all, if you're that concerned about noise, then why did you move near a racetrack to begin with? I understand that you want a nice home, but did you at least look at the area before you moved in? And if you saw the racetrack and you saw the sign that maybe says, Hmm, Nashville Fairgrounds Speedway. I wonder what goes on there. Oh, it's not like, you know, uh, the Arkham Menard series or Lay Model series races there uh, at a, on a weekly basis, whether it's day and night no 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 that, that 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 never happens and like i understand that people don't like noise complaints like trust me i don't either but what what did you what did you expect i mean living near a racetrack you expect it to be perfectly quiet no, it's filled with roaring, en roaring engines and loud fans. Like, that's the whole point of a racetrack. And the second reason, schools. And you may ask yourself, well, what does school have to do with anything? Well, there's actually a good, there's, there's a few reasons. So, um, you know, practice and qualifying, they may take place. Depending on the days, maybe Thursday, Friday, or they and maybe even have a practice session, a little bit of a practice session on Saturday. Um, parents, teachers are concerned about having you know practices going while the children are in school. Um, according to the plans, most of their qualifying practice sessions will probably be on the weekend such as Saturday and Sunday. And if they are going to ha if they were going to have it, excuse me, if they were going to have it on, you know, weekdays, they can literally do it at night. There's literally lights around the racetrack. It, it's it's not, you know, it, people who are arguing over this case are making it so freaking complicated. Like these people are so stupid, they want us to, to stoop down to their level, but we're not like that. Um, so let's get into the positives. So remember how I told you that there was a group that that is for, um, you know, for this track, you know, being bought and having races there. Um, well, one of those people that are... Are for it 
and want it to happen is three-time NASCAR Cup Series champion Daryl Waltrip. He spoke at the meeting, and he believes that this will bring a ton of good things to Nashville. And I know things are, you know, I know there's a money aspect to that, but I'm not really going to go into that. Here are my thoughts on what I think should happen to the fairgrounds. I think Speedway and Cor I think the deal should be approved. The city of Nashville, Nashville, Tennessee, have been trying their hardest to get NASCAR back to their state. Well, not to their state, I'm sorry, because there's already Bristol, but to get back to their city. And it's already technically working because you have Nashville Super Speedway on the schedule coming up next month. Um, and, you know, people don't, you know, understand the whole... I'm getting a little... Hold on. Um, so, you know, the city of Nashville, they're really trying their hardest to do it. And, you know, you have millions of fans, you know, who are so passionate about the sport, or some are passionate, am I right? But um, they want this to happen, including me. Because, let's be real, I want more short tracks on the schedule. And, you know, a return to NASCAR's roots, it brings in money. Oh, but I'm sorry. Every citizen is an entitled brat that, you know, just doesn't care. Um, speaking of entitled brats, there was this one woman that spoke up and said, um, they have, f there are five Formula One races in a year here. Okay, clearly, you have not watched motorsports in your entire life. And she also mentioned how there's NASCAR and Formula One tracks 30 minutes within each other. I imagine she looked by, she drove by her local, like, oh, I don't know, go-kart track, and, and she probably said, hmm, I think the Cup Series races there. Yeah, they can definitely fit 40 cars in that small go-kart track, but... Oh, I'm just oh, I'm mess, I'm messing around, you know. I'm not be I'm not actually being serious, but you, you kind of get my idea. Um, I think the deal should get approved. I want Nashville on this. I want the fairgrounds on the schedule. I want to return to NASCAR's roots. But these are just my thoughts and what I think. I want to hear what you guys have to say. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. By the way, I forgot to mention this. Yesterday, May 12th, was the 21st anniversary of Adam Petty's death. My prayers and thoughts and wishes go to Kyle Petty and, you know, the whole Petty family. Because, you know, over 20 years ago, we lost the fourth generation of the Petty family. Um, so, yeah. R.I.P. Adam Petty. So, guys, those are my thoughts about what's what I think might happen to the Nashville Fairgrounds Speedway. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below, and I'll see you guys next time.